In this short video, we'll explore a model that will help you understand how to build your capability and confidence. We'll also consider why sometimes a little stress can be a good thing. Building your capability and confidence involves finding a way of achieving your peak performance. The yerkes dodson law is an empirical relationship between pressure and performance that was originally developed by psychologists Yerkes and Dodson in 1908. So if we consider this model that maps our levels of performance against the amount of pressure or stress we're under, Yerkes dodson law states that our performance will increase as the pressure increases but only up to a certain point. After that it will rapidly decrease. So let's consider this first section of the curve, which we can call your comfort zone. When you're in this zone, your performance is okay. It gradually rises according to the amount of pressure that you're under. However, there is a bit of a danger here of boredom or lack of motivation um, in completing the tasks because you're not really being challenged here. So let's consider the peak performance area of this curve. We'll call this your stretch zone. When you're stretching yourself, you may be facing pressures of new tasks that you may never have done before. Or for example, it could be a time pressure of an impending deadline. When you're within this stretch zone, however, you feel energized, you feel more focused, um, and you are able to complete the task to the best of your ability. You're really firing on all cylinders here. You may find that you have some physical symptoms, so for example, nervous energy or butterflies. These are there to help you cope with this situation and face that task that you need to do. So let's consider what happens when the pressure increases further. We'll call this your panic zone. So here, energy in your body is diverted away from the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that's responsible for log logic and decisions. So you move into a fight or flight response where you can't see clearly, you find it difficult making decisions and your levels of anxiety and stress increase. This results in hugely impaired performance and the inability to complete the tasks in hand. So it's important for you to figure out your own tipping point where your performance will begin to falter and you're in danger of falling into that panic zone. Once you've identified where those tipping points may be, try to develop some strategies that work for you to help you release the pressure and move back into either peak performance or comfort for a while. So strategies that are useful could include things like mindfulness, um, going for a walk, talking it through with somebody. Um, there are many other strategies for you to discover on your own and figure out what works best for you. Being open to stretching yourself, feeling those uncomfortable feelings, that slight anxiety, but not too much, finding that balance between pressure and performance is really key to your success. The more that you stretch yourself, the more that you'll operate within that peak performance zone and the easier it will get and you can then stretch yourself in a different way. In summary, try to identify ways in which you are able to stretch yourself on your next placement in order to develop your capability and your confidence further. Don't forget to develop some strategies that work for you in order to deal with your point of panic.